Oh my god, this guy has eight pack. Never mind. Yes! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch Yuji Sakaisen episode 20. In the previous episode, Yuji fought against Mahito who split into half. Nobara met and fought the other half of Mahito, but as soon as she overpowered him, he escaped to meet with his original body. Before Yuji was able to do anything, Mahito's copies swapped with each other and the main body touched Nobara's head. Last thing was we saw was Nobara lying on the floor in the blood. Now, as much as I want her to survive, I don't think I would want her this kind of life because I don't think that could be healed. That is a proper disability for her the rest of her life. And we saw her past life flashing before her eyes. I really doubt we will meet her. And the worst thing in all of it is the fact that Yuji saw everything happening right in front of him just like with his senpai and it's literally episode after episode who else is gonna go in this episode this show is starting to feel more like a game of thrones than anime for god's sake anyways sat things aside we've got yuji ready for the final battle of mahito and i have a hunch a little feeling that he might actually find a way to finish mahito in this episode but we'll see about that you might be laughing oh my god she could be more wrong well we'll see and as always if you like my reaction smash the like button and if you'd like to hear more from me subscribe and without further ado, let's get on with this episode. Interesting start. <gasps> no. Oh, look at her face. Did not impress either. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is you, Nobara, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not the point. Oh my god, these guys made it just worse. <laughs> Coffee clouds. <laughs> What's Mary Mekko? Well, it's gorgeous and say it can be cheap. <laughs> I know, right? It's a high <laughs> amount of ways. The worst Mahito. The worst. And yet the best villain. Whew. So he's able to use the black flash to strengthen himself as well. That's just really terrible. God. There's no way Yuji can win. I thought he's gonna win, but there's just no way. He's lost so much blood. <sighs> God, I hate Mahito's voice. Like, I really hate him. Like, hell no. That's a difference, like a fire and water. What the hell? Yeah, he's lost his will to fight. This, this is it. He's just, he can't fight anymore, so is Sukuna gonna come out of him? But Sukuna doesn't wanna join, and they're not gonna kill him. I mean, the mind actually. That sound, that power, I recognize that. I've heard that before in a different season. That's that Toto? His brother? Brother. The lollicon. Wow. Amazing. <sighs> Honestly, I have never been so happy that someone finally came for you to Yuji's aid. Someone is literally there to help him. And Teodo has amazing power. He can teleport things with clap it of his hand he's really good at it yuji and his team really struggled in the past against Toto. 
gosh watching this intro is so hard because like so many people that are there are dead already all of those things that i see now that literally make sense and bring me memories of the horrible things that have happened oh yeah that was todo in the opening and sukana as devilish and handsome as ever can't help it girls like bad boys right I know, I always do silly dances, right? Who is that with Toto? I can't remember him. <sighs> he was looking for Yuji to help him. <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> he does not have a brother. <laughs> My god, there are two characters that think that Yuji is their brother. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> yeah, well, she was dead long ago. I love his accent, it's just the best. <laughs> Poor Yuji. My god. Yuji. You can't blame him, can you? Made is literally like. You literally can't save everyone. You can only do your best. <sighs> My dog. <laughs> well done, Todo. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate what you're saying, but. He wouldn't want to be in his house, in his boots. <sighs> they live with us. Look at his muscles, they always amaze me. Like this anime loves beefy characters, I swear. And just what is your technique? Okay. But he lost so much blood. How can he even possibly move? I mean, we're talking about Itadori, who has Sukuna on him, but still. How is that humanly possible? Because he's not his real brother. <laughs> he's an acquired brother. So there is a chance she could survive? Can someone please in the comments down below tell me if Shinobara is gonna come back? Because someone said it previously that no, don't hope for that, she won't come back. But if the chances of her survival aren't zero, then who knows? Anyways. Come on, Toto. Smash him into bits. Oh, my heat is gonna be so annoyed by this power. Just what is that? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Nearly finished or not, it's Itadori we're talking about. Man, that was scary. Let's see about that. Yeah, if he's gonna reach that true essence of his soul, something's really bad gonna happen. Black Flash, amazing! So that's gonna increase his powers as well. So it's only Todo who didn't use the Black Flash, and I don't know if Todo can use it, I can't quite remember. Now, that might not be strong, you know? the hit but like I said it's a means to strengthen himself wow! my god this guy has eight pack never mind Mekamaru he found his way to Miwa 
And Mila is on the way to Shibuya Station. My camera doesn't want her to go. I hope he doesn't think that she's not strong enough. It's just that I think he's been really overprotective. Yeah. It's not what you think, Miwa. Something else at play. Mekamaru is not able to save you anymore if something were to happen. That guy has a big brain. Oh, Miwa. He's talking about her. Oh my god, this episode is so emotional. You can do it. Brother power. <laughs> My god, such an intense power and intense fights. Insane. Holy shit, that's low. She wasn't a nobody, you horrible thing, you. <gasps> it's a curse train. What the hell? It's been making train noises. That is so creepy. Oof. Literally, Miyahito is like a child having so much fun. Oh, it's the ugliest, creepiest, and most horrible thing I've seen in this anime. Not again. Oh, God. Todo can even stop the blades. That's amazing. Go for it. You can do it. He's gonna do a black flash. <laughs> Todo's like an idol. Now, all three of them are equal. Well, I wouldn't say equal. Equal in the fact that they can both, they both strengthen. <sighs> now, my god, what amazing and extremely satisfying episode. Yuji's wounds and bleeding has been stopped. Toad arrived to help him, and they're both fighting side by side. I cannot imagine better character to lift Itadori's spirit up. Mahito is seriously weakened. All three of them have used the Black Flash to strengthen and enforce their powers. So I think two against one, there's a big chance that Itadori is gonna kick Mahito's ass finally and gosh, hopefully, before Mahito reaches his true form, whatever that thing might be, because that sounds super scary. Still, I am proper grieving over Nanami's and Nobara's death, and I hope there will be no more deaths. Honestly, the scales have to overturn, and we need to have more action from the living. And obviously, Miyakamori is gone. Now, that scene in the train was so sad. I'm seriously gonna miss that character. Anyways, I really can't wait to see Mahito's axe kit, so hopefully. So I'm gonna get on with watching next episode. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. If you liked it, you know what to do. And if you like to hear more from me, subscribe. Massive thank you to all of you always supporting my channel. Big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac and other supporters. If you are interested in joining my Patreon family, the link is below. You can find their early access, uncut, full opacity videos. And more importantly, some titles are Patreon exclusive. So join now. Have a fantastic day and see you on the next episode. Bye!